Hello, dear students. How are you? So you are students of accountancy. And of course, you are students of business. In business, you have to manage many things. And one important thing to be managed is cash. Cash is a very liquid asset. It has to be properly planned. It starts from raising cash and then ends with using the cash. Business has to arrange for cash and of course application of cash. At one particular point, the situation must not arise like what we call cash crunch, that the business needs cash and there is no cash. Cash planning is done by the business. How much cash is required? When and on which date some payments have been promised? When a loan is to be paid back? When are the debentures to be redeemed? When you have promised to make the payment to the creditors? All dates have to be remembered, noted down and the word must be kept, must not miss on this account, otherwise the goodwill is at stake. Therefore, my dear students, proper cash planning is needed for this. Proper cash budget is rather prepared for this purpose. And in your syllabus, 12th class syllabus, there is a topic which deals with the cash inflows and cash outflows. I'm going to say cash flow statement. It has been kept in the syllabus to create awareness among you at this very stage, at this early stage of class 12th, that you should realize how important cash is. So they, we have to see or find out what are the sources of cash, where from the cash comes and where it goes. Some people call the cash flow statement by different names. As the name suggests cash flow statement, it is a statement of inflows and outflows. Some people say it is the statement of sources and applications. Some say where come, where go? Where does the cash come from and where it goes? Whatever name you may call it, ultimately it is maintaining a balance between cash inflows and outflows. Never should this situation arise where outflows are more than the inflows. That means you have promised uh, to make a payment. You had planned to buy a big plant, but you don't have cash. So such a situation must not arise. For that purpose, a cash plan or a cash budget is prepared. Now, with this, we have to identify in cash flow statement, we study inflows and outflows from operating activities of the business. Operating activities include purchasing the goods, selling the goods, paying salaries to the workers, incurring all other business expenses. They are all operating activities. Now it depends upon the nature of the business. For a bank or a financial institution, paying interest 
is on an operating activity. Receiving interest is an operating activity. And for a non-banking business, of course, paying interest and receiving interest may not be an operating activity. So one has to take into account the nature of the business in order to decide whether particular activity is an operating activity or an non-operating activity. So we have inflows and outflows from operating activities. Then second is we have inflows and outflows from investing activities. Investing activities includes purchase of machinery, purchase of fixed assets, maybe building or furniture and anything else. And it also includes the reverse of purchase. If any building has to be sold, this also will come under mm, investing activities. That when you invest, when you buy something, there is cash outflow. And when you sell the same asset after having used it for a few years, then there is a cash inflow. Similarly, if there is some investment made and you may receive interest on the investments, this also is an investing inflow, interest on investments. So these are investing activities. There we can have inflow and outflow also. Similarly, we have third, the financing activities. Entire business has been divided into three activities. These are the three activities which are carried on in a business. No fourth activity. All activities can be divided under the operating activities, investing activities and financing activities. In operating, I told you, starting with purchase of goods and sale of goods, making payment for rent for station or other operating expenses which are incurred, they come here. And then at the end of the year, we get net profit. We get profit. This profit is the best source of cash. Cash can come from sale of investments. Cash can come from financing activities, sale of shares, issue of shares, issue of debentures, getting loans from the banks. Cash can come, but that cash has to be paid back. It is a liability, but profit earned through operation, that is the first best source of cash, which must be paid proper attention. The higher the cash profit, higher the profit realized, higher the cash flow from the profits, the better it is, right? And getting cash from capital, getting cash from debentures, Getting plus for getting long-term loans, of course, that is useful, but the best out of these inflows is this one. This inflow is by selling the investment, by selling the machine, by selling the building, by selling, the, but that also is no good, that if you want to buy a new machine, you have to sell one in order to buy a new machine. So where lies the expansion? You have five machines. If you sell all the five, I think you will be able to buy only one with whatever the money you get. And you won't be able to do with one. You want another four where from that money will come. Either you get a loan or you have huge profit lying with you and that profit is used to buy the machine. Right? Now, this is a, just a rough idea given to you where from the money comes and where it goes. Right? Then the point is, what is the need for this cash flow stream? Why it is needed? I'll tell you some interesting points on this. Very interesting points, my dear students, remember. Why it is needed? One, as I told you earlier also, that you need to plan your cash in order to ensure that 
you honor your commitments to make payment in time. So cash planning is to be done. You must know how much cash at one particular point will be coming and how much at a particular one particular point I have to pay. That is one thing. Another very important point is why it was thought of having a cash flow statement. May I tell you, my dear students, up to 1998, we used to have another statement that used to be called funds flow statement. Funds here means not we have funds, cash funds or this fund. No, funds there meant at that time funds meant working capital only. So that was working capital flow statement. And from 98 onwards, there came cash flow statement. Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, it brought out Accounting Standard 3 in 98 and within brackets Accounting Standard 3 revised. We used to call it AS3, AS3 revised. Why revised? Because earlier AS3 was funds flow statement, working capital statement. Now it was revised. When it is revised, it came cash flow statement. Now it is only cash and in the earlier funds flow statement cash is only one part of working capital working capital one element is cash there are other elements also it is pure cash cash flow statement is pure cash okay we do not take into account any non cash transaction supposing we buy a machine and the buyer says, okay, the machine is for one lakh. We say, here is cash. He said, no, I don't want cash. Please give me shares of your company. So a machine has been purchased and the seller has been issued shares. There is no cash. So we are not going to take this into it. This is a non-cash transaction. Debentures have been converted. Debentures, debenture holders wanted money. I said, here is money. They say, no, we don't want money. Give us your shares. Debentures have been converted into shares. No cash involved. Such transactions are non-cash transactions. So we have to take into account only cash transactions and plan our and prepare our cash budget accordingly so that we, we, we uh, honor our commitments uh, on account of fixed assets or on account of payment to the lenders. So therefore, now we have cash flow statement as per AS3. The need for second point in need is first is planning, cash planning. Second point is what the company used to do before this was introduced. There was an element of cheating which the companies would do. In order to stop that, what will the companies do? They earn profit, they announce, shareholder, your company has earned 20 crores, 200 crores of profit. Shareholders feel very happy that now the company has earned profits we will be getting a check or a draft for dividend. But the dividend does not come. Shareholders are waiting for dividend. The dividend doesn't come. The company has announced that 200 crores of profit. Where did the profit go? Nobody knew. Now, cash flow statement will tell. Profits came here in the operating. There came profits, 200 crores. Well, fine. Where did they go? Invested? This will show, has the profits been invested in buying machine, building or other factory? Or for expansion? Fine. Good. I am happy, personally. When my companies don't pay dividend and tell me, look here, we are expanding our business. I am happy because next year I will get a higher profit. 
So if the company is earning profit and not paying dividend, no problem. But then the profit must be invested in some good assets or for expansion. Or if it is not invested, then another good thing is let the loans be paid back. The money borrowed from debenture holders, from long term loans, financial institutions, that money should be paid with the profit earned. Isse acha kya hoga? This is the best thing. Our earlier kisi ko kuch nahi pata lagta tha. Nobody knew where did the profits go. Profits came, it was announced. Nobody knew what happened to the profit. Was something invested? Some assets, some expansion was done or not? Or some loans were paid back or not? Where did the profit go? Shareholders would not know. And now with cash flow statement, they come to know they having a just first sight at the cash flow state will tell you what is happening. Companies cannot hide, they have to disclose. Second situation. Second situation, another dangerous thing. The company has suffered a loss. This year there is a loss. And to my surprise, as a shareholder, a dividend aagya. Are company to loss where dividend comes here. This used to be done by the companies in order to maintain the goodwill of the company. Log ye na samjhe ke dividend mila company gai. So I pay dividend from past profits. So that the reputation is maintained. So that the, so that the shareholders, shares prices, share prices don't go down. Such things used to be done which will now be stopped. That is most important regarding dividend. Second point is regarding dividends. Third, another interesting. Fixed assets. Companies purchase fixed assets. Now imagine a huge plant has been purchased for 10 crores. This plant is going to take at least one year, let me say six months to start working. Huge plant, it has to be fixed properly and that it, it needs raw material so that when it, the raw material is put into it, it produces finished product after six or seven months. So a huge plant has been purchased for 10 crores, fine. And 10 crore money has been borrowed on a short term basis. Funny thing, it has been borrowed on short term basis. Short term basis means less than one year. So plant has been bought, it has been fixed, it is. it has yet to start production. And the lenders have come, lenders have landed at my place, they are asking the money back. Where should I pay the money? Fixed assets must not be bought from short term sources. They have to be bought from long term sources so that I have sufficient time to ensure that the plant starts working and starts production. And we never knew that this plant in investing, this plant has been purchased. In order to purchase the plant, where did the money come from? Did it come from operating profit? Fine, very good. नहीं आए तो क्या हमने यहाँ से लोन लिया कोई कोई दस करोड़ का लोन लिया यस लॉन्ग टर्म लोन लिया तो भी ठीक है सो दैट वाज वन पॉइंट इन ऑर्डर टू इंश्योर दैट दी फिक्स्ड सेट्स आर परचेज फ्रॉम लॉन्ग टर्म सोर्सेज पहले किसी को कुछ नहीं पता लगता था अब पढ़िए कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट यू विल कम टू नो दैट दिस कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट इज टेलिंग अस एवरीथिंग अबाउट परचेज ऑफ फिक्स्ड सेट्स एंड द सोर्सेज फ्रॉम वेयर द you know, from where the money came now to buy the fixed assets. Another point, two points. If any fixed asset has been disposed of, after five years, the plant has been sold. It was bought for 10 crores. After having used it, we have sold it for three crores. Very good. No problem, sold it. Why it is? For what purpose did you use this three crores? Two things. Either pay back the loan which was taken to buy this asset. This three crores should be used there. Very genuine reason. 
other if it is not then buy another machine with this only two good things either pay back the loan with which the old asset was purchased five years back or if the loan has already been paid buy a new machine that is done or not done earlier pata nahi lagta tha kya ho raha hai ab sab kuch pata lagega ye kya kiya gaya if some some asset has been sold here investing inflow hai paisa aaya hamara oh kahan gaya kya uske sath nayi machine khareedi batayega nayi khareedi ko loan pay kiya batayega aur dono mein se koi bhi kaam nahi kiya to uska matlab koi aur hi kaam kar liya kahin kha gaya baith ke that will not be permitted now that is cash flow statement it's which need i think my dear students if you mention these two points you have complete grip on cash flow statement right and then <clears throat> there are certain items certain 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 terms used here i would like to say something about certain terms the terms used the terms used in Are cash equivalent second is these three terms i think most important thing to understand in cash equivalent because we want to know what is the inflow of cash and outflow of cash and how much is the cash left with us at the end of the year it's not pure cash we all include in cash anything which is equal to cash gold may be taken as a cash equivalent marketable securities they can be sold any time so cash equivalents are such items such assets which can be converted into cash without any loss of value sona agar hamare paas 10 lakh ka hai to bech do to 10 lakh mil jayega aapko securities marketable securities can be sold in the market there is no loss there is no fall in value in the so these are cash equivalents so they will be clubbed together as cash equivalent and what is bank overdraft then money overdrawn from the bank there are two options for this one is that it treat as a negative cash if the positive cash is 10 lakhs and overdraft is 2 lakhs so i will deduct 2 lakhs out of 10 my cash in hand will be Uh, 8 lakh this is treating bank overdraft as negative cash but but the cbsc my dear student wants you to treat overdraft as a short term loan so therefore when you prepare cash flow statement for your examination purpose it is to be taken as a short term short term loan a current liability find it so that's about cash equivalents then extraordinary items they have a big effect on the profit they have to be excluded from the profit they have to be excluded from operating activities say if there is a profit profit like uh, a windfall from the lottery a hey, lottery nikla hai 10 crore ki earlier your profit used to be ranging between 8 crore 9 crore 8 crore 9 crore this year it is 18 crores and 18 crores why because there is a 10 crore lottery this is extraordinary item it is not to be shown it is to be shown separately there is a place in the cash flow statement extraordinary items there is a fire and there is loss because of fire this also is a extraordinary loss 
It's not happening every year. It is to be shown separately in the cash flow statement so that the other items, they are the regular ones, they give us the right information about what items are happening regularly. So extraordinary items and last is uh, non-cash items and non-cash items, I told you the ones where a asset is purchased uh, by issuing shares, where cash doesn't come and other items also non-cash. Non-cash means where cash is not involved. Depreciation. When an asset depreciates, it reduces my profit. Okay. When I pay salaries, it reduces my profit. But when I pay salaries, my cash is also reduced. But when I depreciate my machinery, my profit is reduced, but cash is not reduced. Therefore, depreciation is a non-cash item. Okay. So these items, these three items and operating, investing and financing activities, they constitute cash flow statement, most important ingredients and elements of cash flow statement with these special items and with those things which I told about the dividend and fixed assets, they have to be kept in mind, my dear students, when you prepare cash and flow statement. This much is enough for today. Thank you very much for listening to me carefully.